nakedness. Thou art filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. Well, what happened was, what I think that what happened here, he goes into Kuwait, he expose, he finds out what has happened with the what's going on up there. But then we go and knock, knock him out and discover what he's been doing. And his nakedness is that he's hiding weapons of mass destruction. Can be wrong here, but that's what I think I'm getting here. Yeah, the cup of the Lord's hand, the the cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned unto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. Okay. For the violence of Lebanon shall cover thee. In other words, there's going to be a Lebanization of Iraq taking place here. And that's going to be split up in three different spots. And the spoil of beasts which made them... See, the reason why we didn't uh, uh, help the Kurds and the Shiites in the first place because Bush was afraid there was going to be a Lebanization of Iraq. Trouble is, it's going to happen anyway. The violence of Lebanon shall cover thee. Iraq is going to split up. It's going to become another Lebanon. And the spoil of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence of the land of the city, Baghdad, I feel, of the city and of all that dwell therein. What profiteth the graven image? The maker thereof hath graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. But the maker of his work trusteth therein to make dumb idols. Woe unto him that saith to the wood, Awake! To the dumb stone arise, it shall teach. Behold, it is laid over with gold and silver, and there is no breath at all in the midst of it. But the Lord is in his holy temple, but all the earth keeps silence before him. Okay, chapter 3. Now this, I feel, is like Jeremiah, chapter 49. And all hell breaks loose here. And World War Trace. So, go ahead, can you hear it? A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet, upon Shigoanoth. O oh Lord, I've heard thy speech, and was afraid. O oh Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make known. In wrath remember mercy. God came from Timon and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Salah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. And his righteousness and his brightness was as the, as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. Behold him with the pestilence, and the burning coals went forth at his feet. I think what's happened is God says he's not going to need us as a man. Well, I mean, during the rapture you'll be up there, but he's going to need the people that are left behind as an atom bomb. And the pestilence at his feet, all in Iraq, boom oh, the pestilence stuff is blasted out when the bombs hit. He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills did bow. So it's gonna sound, it sounds like it's gonna be, those bombs are going to be really big. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Cushion and affliction, and the curtains of the land of Median did tremble. Was the Lord displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was the wrath? Was thy wrath against the sea? that thou didst ride upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation. In other words, I feel that when all the hell breaks loose, the chariots of salvation, rapture. So when this happens, going on over here, rapture too at the same time, that's why I think, my gosh, when this is going on with the rock thing, ooh, rapture is near. Because of that, this, this scripture here, the uh, chariots of salvation. Thy bow was made quite naked. According to the oaths of the tribes, even thy word, Salah. Thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. The mountains saw thee, and they trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice and lifted his hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows, or the missiles, I feel, at the light of their missiles, 
they went at the shining of that glittering spear. When an atom bomb goes off, you can't even see that there was a sun because it's so bright. It's like everything becomes dark because yeah, it's so bright, the atom bomb going off, or H-bomb. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst thresh the heathen in anger. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of the people. So, in other words, the rapture will take place, and the Israelis, children of Israel, and the Jews, some of them, most of them, will be protected here. They'll be safe. So there'll be a mixture of destruction and salvation going on at the same time when all this takes place. Rapture and protection of Israelis, children of Israel, and all this hell breaking loose at the same time. Yeah. Um, now that went forth in the for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. And I feel the anointed are the Jews and yeah, thy people are. But excuse me. Uh, th now what is for the salvation uh, for the salvation of thy people, which I feel are the Jews, even for the salvation of thine anointed, which could be the Christians. Thou woundest the head of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the next along. Thou didst strike through with the, with the staves the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses through the heap of great waters. When I heard, my belly trembled. My lips quivered at the voice. The rottenness entered into my bones. And I trembled in myself, and I, that I might rest in the day of trouble. The day of trouble, I feel, is tribulation. When he cometh up upon, when he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. When he cometh up unto the people. He'll invade them with his troops. I think the troops are the Kurds. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines, the labor of the olive shall fail, and the fields... <laughs> Excuse me. And the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold. And there shall be no herd in the stalls. And it sounds like tribulation to me. Yet I will rejoice in the I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet and he will make me to walk upon my high places the chief singer on my stringed instrument in other words back is going to go around with little huppies on his feet little huppies on his feet anyway I think those scriptures I read you those chapters are about to be fulfilled if if we start helping the Kurds and the Shiites overthrow Saddam. That's what I think that's talking about there. Anyway, I'm done for now.